Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about low duty cycle protocols and wake up concepts. It is a type of MAC protocol in wireless sensor network. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. Low duty cycle protocols and wake up concepts. The central idea of low duty cycle protocols is to reduce the time a node is idle or spends overhearing an unnecessary activity by putting the node in the sleep state. The most ideal condition of low duty cycle protocols is when a node is asleep most of the time and wakes up only when to transmit or receive packets. The concept of a low duty cycle is represented by a periodic wake up scheme. A node wakes up periodically to transmit or receive packets from other nodes. Usually, after a node wakes up, it listens to the channel for any activity before transmitting or receiving the packets. Low duty cycle protocols and wake up concepts representation. In this representation, we are going to discuss about four states. The first state is idle state, the second is sleep state, the third is wake up state, and the fourth is listen state. When the node is having no data to transmit or receive, the node is in idle state. If it is in idle state, means it consumes more energy. In order to avoid that situation, the low node sends to the sleep state. Now, when the node wants to transmit the information or receive the information, means it has to be in wake up state. And after that wake up state, it has to listen if some packets are receiving or some packets has to be transmitted. These are the four states present in this protocol low duty cycle. Periodic wake up cycle representation is shown here in the form of a graph. Here in this graph we have represented a sleep period. This includes sleep or wake up period. After that a listen period is also indicated here. If no packet is to be transmitted or received, the node returns to the sleep state. A whole cycle consisting of a sleep period and a listening period is called a sleep or wake up period, and is shown here. Duty cycle is measured as the ratio of the listening period length to the wake up period length, which gives an indicator of how long a node spends in the listening period. A small duty cycle means that a node is asleep most of the time in order to avoid idle listening and overhearing. However, a balanced duty cycle size must be achieved in order to avoid higher latency and higher transient energy due to startup cost. There are various low duty cycle protocols proposed for wireless sensor networks which differ in aspects of synchronization, the number of channels required, transmitter or receiver initiated operation. The low duty cycle protocols can be categorized into two major classes, namely synchronous and asynchronous schemes. Asynchronous schemes. The concept of synchronization is related with data exchanges in wireless sensor networks. In asynchronous schemes, there are two basic approaches, namely transmitter initiated and another one is receiver initiated transmitter initiated asynchronous schemes we are going to discuss now using a transmitter initiated approach a node sends frequent 
request packets that is preamble control or even data packet themselves until one of them hits the, the listening period of the destination node the transmitter approach puts the energy cost on the transmitter receiver initiated asynchronous schemes on the other hand the receiver initiated approach is applicable when a node sends frequent packets to inform the neighboring nodes about the willingness of the node to receive packets the receiver initiated schemes moves the cost to the receiver another variation of low duty cycle protocols is a synchronous scheme where all the nodes in a group or cluster have the same wake up phase usually each node sends frequent become frames to inform its neighbors about its wake up cycle schedule and other information such as pending packets to be transmitted etc this a node schedules its transmission and the reception time from the information obtained from the beacon frames this approach is more applicable for a distributed or flat topology in another approach a node becomes a group or cluster head and controls the data communications while maintaining the synchronization between the nodes in the group or cluster this approach is more applicable for a clustered or centralized topology however in both approaches tight time synchronization requires frequent resynchronization with neighboring nodes consuming a significant amount of energy synchronous periodic wake up scheme representation is shown here in this diagram we are representing the source as well as the destination the beacons period active period carrier sensing period date of frame period is indicated in this graph thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you